Over the last few months, I had the opportunity to interview on this channel four of the brightest rising stars in Web3 security. These are people who went from complete beginners to earning five figures in auditing contests and landing jobs in top auditing firms. I asked all of them for their secrets and I expected actually different answers. But what shocked me is that all, every single one of them kept coming back to these three universal truths. These aren't just tips. These are non-negotiable rules to succeed in this space. And if you're serious about your career as a smart contract auditor, you need to hear them. So without further ado, let's break them down. Hey guys, if you are new here, my name is Johnny, a Web3 security educator. If you want to learn smart contract hacking, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Rule number one, learn on the battlefield, or in other words, compete before you are ready. The number one mistake people do is waiting. They say to themselves, I will just watch one more video. I will read one more article and then I'm going to be ready. All my guests said that this is a huge mistake. For instance, Arsene that I interviewed on my channel said that I jumped into auditing contest. Meanwhile, doing and practicing your course, he also said that once you finish any course, maybe you have the knowledge and the fundamentals, but you are still a newbie in the auditing competition battlefield. Holy Devotion, another smart contract hacking course graduate said the absolute best way to learn it's to just jump into a contest even if you find nothing the experience of trying and then reading the final report is where the real learning happens and the point is do not wait for perfection the pressure and chaos of a real contest is the ultimate classroom for you that doesn't mean that you don't need the basics. You cannot jump to a contest without understanding Solidity, smart contracts, and what are attacks like Oracle attacks and re and rec. You still need the fundamentals. You still need the basics. It's the best way to take a structured hands-on course if you want a shortcut, but you can also participate in contests and what worked best for Arsene and Holy Devotion and allow them to win auditing contests and sometimes earn more than five figures is taking the course and participating in contests the same time. They even mentioned that they found bugs in the contest based on labs and exercises that they had in the course. If you want to try it out, check out the link in the description below to grab your free trial. Rule number two, embrace the grind. So you are in the arena. Now comes the hard part because you're going to fail. And many, many times. This is where 99% of the people quit. And Flint, one of the smart contract hacking course graduates, gave me the most powerful mindset shift that I've ever heard. He said, don't do hundreds days challenge, do a thousand days challenge. When you get into this space, assume it's going to take three years of hard work before you will see good and desirable results. Now, I don't want to dismotivate you. It doesn't mean that you won't see results way earlier. Probably you will, but this should be your mindset, a long-term marathon rather than a sprint. And this isn't theoretical. Arson also told me that he worked for five months straight without earning anything in contests. But eventually he got his real win and his real payout and he didn't quit. In this field, you win by outlasting everyone else that leaves and quits. Control your input, the hours you put in and not the output, the results. And this is how you survive the long winter of learning. And rule number three, build in public. Your reputation is your resume. So you got a skill and the mindset, but how do you turn it to become a career? How do you get noticed by Sertora or Garden Audits or Trust Security? The answer is simple, learn and build in public. Arson said that this is 30 to 40% that contribute to your success. Flint was even more direct and he said, make an identity, go on Twitter and share everything. 
And it's not about vanity, it's your public CV. When you're sure about your learning path, about an exercise that you're solving in a course or a CTF that you just broke or an audit contest that you just participated in, you're doing two things. One, you hold yourself accountable. And two, is you're building yourself a portfolio that proves your dedication and your skills. This is how Flint got contacted by Sertora, and this is how Arsen got opportunities from top auditing firms and he refused them. So there you got it, three universal rules from the pros. One, compete before you're ready. Two, embrace the 1000 day grind and challenge. And three, build your career in public. Which tips resonate the most with you? Let me know in the comments below and feel free to ask your questions as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like this video, press the like button. It really helps to get exposure to more people who want to learn about Web3 security. And also make sure to subscribe to the channel to get exposed to more awesome Web3 security content. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one.